Hey, my darling Leo. It's Vera with your October love reading. I know I'm a little, we're a little bit into the month, but this will just be your reading for the shifting times we're in in October, September, October, November, December. This is your October love reading, my dears, but we are preparing, we are transitioning into 2020, this new decade, this new era. What is the depth, whoops, the depth truth, the depth energy, the depth characteristic of your relationship with your counterpart that you're thinking of or calling in at this time, at this time, my dear Leo, the five of cups. So, okay, at this time, you know, sometimes as we move into these new times in our lives, there is a wistfulness, a nostalgia for past ways that we've been, past situations we've been in, past experiences we've had that have just, either they've changed um, in a way that wasn't expected or they've just changed in the way that is to be expected as children grow up, as you yourself grow, as, you know, time passes. But what you have here standing solidly is this two of cups and oh i just had a download about this card because i got it in another deck for the cancer reading and i just thought to myself oh, i have a new way of reading that card and now i'm trying to remember what that was because it was clearly for you since it came right up for you heloise is a famous lover and writer right the letters of heloise and abelard we read that in college it's one of our classics um so there is going to be a lot of like part of what this energy is between you is this sort of almost proselytizing not if that triggers you because it sounds because it is a religious word and problematic but like proclaiming this like your love the connection between you is this proclamation of the new ways that we're moving into embodying love as human luminous i want to say you know like homo sapiens all the like that idea of you know moving forward but we are moving into the luminosity that has always been our birthright as beings made from source love breathing in air feeling emotions made of water made of light you know starlight pulsing through our veins trusting in our hearts content and contents so it's it what was it it's like a shift i think I think maybe shift was part of what I got for the five of cups earlier. But I used to always say, like five minutes ago, when reading it, go that the five of cups is like I'm moving away from any shame, remorse, regret. But I'm reading it more positively now. Like, it's just, it's almost like you have this higher perspective or this like wider, vaster, gentler a gentling of perspective, a gentling of perspective, a gentling of the way you voice yourself and experience, you know, a gentling of the way you embody your own soul's consciousness and that you can come into this rest. It's like a soul deep rest. I got this for Pisces too, I think. What is between you? What is the reality as you come into this relationship? Is like your souls recognize each other so deeply that you may rest. Even if you're doing things, you're like, you know, being creative, doing all this stuff. There's like this relief and rest that you bring to each other and toward each other. And 
in concert with each other. What is there in you, in your past experience? Uh, now I'm remembering too. It's your past experience that has brought you to where you are. Like there's some, I guess it's, it's kind of trite almost, but I'm feeling it in this new, more profound way than I have before. Like there's just this like deep acceptance of what you've been through that has brought you to this place where we're on the, we're cresting into this new decade and this new era and this new, you know, like all we also just over the summer, we, we switched into this new like 13,000 year cycle with how we are in relation to the vastness of the universe here on earth. I mean, I'd send you to some certain, some certain, uh, astrology videos for more on that but it probably if you're watching my channel you know somewhat of that anyway but when I opened the I I just opened this deck to shuffle and what I have is the eight of wands and the six of wands so there's, there's this 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 quick um communication and creative and and inventive and gorgeous communication between the two of you and there's this public commitment and 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 maybe your private connection isn't like something that you flaunt about in public necessarily and not to say it in any kind of judgmental way either but like if you want your privacy you have your privacy but there's also this incredible burgeoning creativity and and communication and magic that that is between the two of you that 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 you are it's like you have the spaciousness and the support to do your true life's work within this relationship this relationship fuels that and and um, it fuels that and it also grounds it. Like I think sometimes I've thought like, oh my gosh, in my life I could have accomplished so much more if I'd had a deep love companion the whole time. And, and you know, so I thought that that's my regret, right? But then, you know, here we are, we are where we are now coming into these deep divine union relationships and like it is going to support us in doing so much more than we may have even imagined. And doing it in a healthier, sturdier, more sustainable, just a gentler, there's a gentling of your life because of this person and because of the connection between the two of you. Life doesn't feel as harsh and lonely as it may have felt. It's, and it's really deep. It's really deep. It's not just like, oh, I want someone to spend Sunday mornings with or or whatever to like go with me to work functions or I mean not to minimize any way but it's just like so much deeper than like most of us are used to experiencing relationships the times they are a change in okay the wheel of fortune the tower so things are shifting and it may be uncomfortable at times during the shift I'm thinking of that movie you know that series of movies before sunset, before sunrise, and then before midnight? Or maybe it's before sunrise, before sunset. Yeah, before sunrise they meet when they're younger, traveling in Europe. Then before sunset they meet again after 10 years or something. And then before and, they, and before midnight they're, they're together. They're in an established relationship. But they talk back about how, you know, they had to shift their lives. And both of my favorite is the middle one before sunset. Anyway, <laughs> those are awesome movies too. I really like that director, Richard Linklater. And it, and then it's like co-written with the two people who star in it as the lovers, with Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy. So it's like, it's just a cool combination of efforts. Anyway, maybe that pins me into a certain generation, but I'm okay with that. So so there's ways that things may be, there may be experiences of discomfort and discomfort may seem like a too small of a word for what they are, but you are supported by, you're supported through these changes because we, they are coming because we are weaving the world and the stories anew. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. There's, it's limitless and it's good and it's gentle I'm good yeah I'm not gonna judge myself or critique myself it's 
gentle and and for your counterpart there's a rest as i was saying this relationship is like a soul deep rest as you come into it but you could that your counterpart is able to draw upon their ability to be still their ability to perhaps meditate their ability to be self-sufficient their ability to contemplate however that's been expressed and yeah so they can draw upon that experience and you can draw oh this came up again you can draw upon your experience of communication of your quick wittedness of your cleverness of your intelligence um, of your of your curiosity and eagerness and and um, willingness uh, that you have within you to explore and connect and invent. Um, okay, what what? flavor of happiness is drawing you toward each other right now for your counterpart it's celebration it's a reconciliation under this gorgeous sun a reconciliation which is deep which is collective which is also specific and particular to this connection between the two of you but it's like I think of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee in South Africa, like as we all come into more a world of justice and joy and alignment for all, that they're amazed as they come into this relationship with you. And for you, oh my gosh, you got the Eight of Swords. But this Eight of Swords is about releasing these old ways of protecting yourself. It's interesting that you got two eights. These old ways of protecting yourself are fading into the background as you move forward into this relationship. Actually, I think I got this card for Pisces, uh, for Taurus as the relationship. This person is grounding into the earth, surrounded barefoot on the earth, surrounded by water, bathing in starlight, moving forward in this opening portal that's coming into this relationship where there can be such tenderness. You don't have to protect the tenderest parts of yourself. And maybe even in this joy and eagerness and energy, this gorgeous, beautiful, youthful, sweet, dear, eager energy, maybe there was a something of self-protection in it, just as maybe there was something of self-protection in the person's quiet. But, um, you may release that as you come into this beautiful sunlight, starlight pathway to this reconciliation of all of us with all the vastness of ourselves and then in these beautiful relationships. How is the universe shifting, the times changing, surprising you in a way that supports you within the articulation of this relationship for your counterpart, this beautiful clarity and curiosity and adventuresomeness, which is May Jemison as the Ace of Swords. And then for you, the Four of Pentacles, which I always say is, is sort of like that, the little bit of resistance or friction that is that allows humans to create, that allows humans to create. So it's something about really earthing and embodying this. Um, you're supported by the earth and perhaps they are supported at this time by the stars. That might sound a little too abstract for some, but anyway. Um, what may you release? What may you release as you move into this? Either new relationship, renewed relationship, continuing relationship, one fell out. What may you all release? You all may release. <laughs> and accept. I've been saying release and accept in some of the readings. Um, magic. Your own magic. I'm almost thinking you may release any striving to understand, you know, I feel, and I know, that there are all these 
um, capabilities, senses that we have and we're taught, or at least I was taught and many of us were taught, most of us I think, we're taught to ignore, taught to neglect, taught to deny and and then as we come into this understanding, this fuller understanding of our own abilities, of our own perception and of the hugeness of, you know, I remember talking to a friend like, all, like just like again, and she's been studying shamanism for years, but like, it's just like, it's all real. It's so real. The guides, the poetry of the way that the universe moves. All, it's okay. So what I'm saying is you can release any striving to understand. You can like rest in, yes, the vastness of your perception, the gorgeousness of the embodiment of your consciousness. There's some way in which like we're there and you can rest and you're there together. Okay. I'm going to draw one more for each of you for how the ancestor, your ancestors. Your ancestors are supporting you at this time. For your counterpart, it's all their works and days, their diligence, their capability. For you, it's their ability to go it alone. Um, and you've had that, you've certainly drawn apart upon that ability. You don't relinquish, as you come into this relationship, you don't relinquish anything about yourself, any of your strengths. It's just that you are suffused with this new joy and with this relief of not having to carry everything yourself anymore. You know, the universe has got you. This person has got you. This reading has gotten really long and I'm worried that my phone's going to run out. But it's really beautiful, my sweet Leo's. It's really, really beautiful, and you're on your path. Lots of love. 